Hey guys, I got my 1962 Chevy Impala two-door sports coupe sitting out here in the driveway. Uh, I'm trying to figure something out here. If you if you've watched my channel very very long at all, any length of time, I always say, you know, I'm not a mechanic. So I'm trying to figure out I'm trying to figure out this car. I mean, I know the car, but I'm saying, let me show you. Let me let me explain what's going on. I guess I should start off by doing that. Uh, it's probably about 65 degrees out here, maybe 70. Outside, it's fall of the year. And uh, I've got these mechanical gauges that Tim Dixon and Corey put in for me. Because this car, like all 62 Chevys, came with idiot lights. And I don't trust them. I don't think too many people do. But uh, I noticed that with this temperature mechanical gauge here that tells the temp, the water temperature, that uh, you know it gets up like around 220. You know, sometimes getting on up, to maybe higher than that, like you know, in between like that and 230. And to me, that seems kind of hot. Don't pay no attention to this. I I dipped out some of the antifreeze and just just to see if it would move. I know you can't see it, but it is moving. So the thermostat's open. The radiator doesn't leak. So, you know, and I've made a mess. But uh, I'm just wondering if you have a 62 Impala or this is a 283 with a power glide. So if you have, you know, a 62 or something like that and you have a mechanical gauge, what does yours normally run at? I, I thought maybe, you know, like, I thought maybe between 180 and 200, but, you know, I don't want to mess this motor up. I had it rebuilt in, like, 1985, the motor, and, uh, like I said, it's, it's 283. There's nothing special about it, just what it came with, and still has the power glide transmission, but I'm trying to figure out what is the deal. So, I know the thermostat's working. Uh, you know, there's there's no funny noises. Uh, the water pump is working. I can see it. I don't know what y'all can see. I'm trying to get you in the lock. You can see it's moving. I took the radiator cap off and uh, just trying to figure out what's going on with it. So, could it be the radiator cap? I, I mean, I don't know why it would. I don't know. Let me see if I can find it. Hang on just a minute. I always set stuff down and forget where I set it, but yeah, here it is. Uh, 13 pounds. I like these kind of radiator caps because you can kind of relieve the pressure. Of course, I opened it before I ever took it off before I ever started. And I've got one of these uh, puke tanks on here too that I put on years ago. But uh, as you can see, the water circulating fine. I don't. Could it be the radiator cap? I guess that's what I'm asking. I am not a mechanic. I am not the smartest bub in the room. Uh, <laughs> as you can see, I am not the brightest bub in the room. <laughs> God. Oh, I embarrass myself sometimes. I ought to edit that out, but I'll let y'all get a good laugh too. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm just trying to figure out what's the deal with it. Maybe I need a new radiator cap because I was I've looked at the auto part stores here in the town next to us and uh, every one of them all the auto part stores that I've checked which has been about four uh, they can't get a 62 radiator so the only way I'm going to get one is probably off eBay so I'm really when you do on eBay I mean in my opinion you have a hard time returning stuff so I really don't know what to think. Anyway, I, let me know if you think it's the radiator cap. Maybe that's it. Because, I, I mean, don't pay no attention to this. That's my homemade mess I just made. But uh, 
like I said, I dipped out some of the antifreeze in the radiator. When I started it up, you know, it was completely full. When I started running, it started kind of bubbling out, you know, running along the edge. So I'll have to get that up so a dog or something. We don't have no pets, but sure as I don't, some animal will come over here and lick on it. But uh, anyway, just let me know what you kind of think on that. I'm not really sure. I'm not a mechanic. I mean, it appears to be in good shape. I don't know. How many times do I say I don't know? A bunch in my videos, but let's see what it is now. It's been running probably 20 minutes, maybe 30. see it really going up very much if any it might it might trickle up to 180 I'm starting to think it's the radiator cap but, I mean, I, I don't know if that's it or not. Y'all let me know in the comments if you don't care. Yeah, see, it's moving around. I, if it's not the radiator and it's not the thermostat, it, maybe it's this cap. I know a lot of y'all's probably laughing, but... Because, uh, you know, I mess with so many vehicles, but... I, I'm just not a mechanic. I, I just I just don't have it in my brain. Just like I don't have it in my brain to be a doctor or a dentist. It's just not in me. I'm sure I could yank your teeth out real quick, but as far as making you look good again, I, <laughs> I couldn't. Anyway, appreciate you watching this. I, maybe, I made, maybe I made you laugh. If I did, that's all good. Anyway. Y'all have a great day. God bless y'all. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget, I got a second YouTube channel called uh, Man on a Budget. I'm on Instagram. Primer is best. Instagram, Man on a Budget. And I'm also on Facebook, Primer is best. If you'd like to check me out, maybe I can show y'all some more dumb things I don't know. <laughs> you know, but in all reality, all, all kidding aside, it, it doesn't hurt to ask somebody or ask y'all really what for your help because a person never learns unless they do ask. So I'm asking. Appreciate y'all's help. God bless y'all. Stay safe, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. See you later. Hey, guys, just a little update. It's getting on up to close to 200 now just sitting here it's been running probably 45 minutes I've been trying to figure stuff out on this thing but what do I know that might be normal I don't know check this out I'm gonna turn on the turn signals 62's and I guess 60 I guess 61 maybe 60 through 64 or 5 are notorious for this where you have grounding issues on the tail lights. Working good, I got on my parking lights. I'm just checking my lights, just trying to stay busy. See, they won't come on back here to, on the dry, on the driver's side to blink. They will the passenger side. I've always I've had a bunch of 62s, and every one of them, it's it's a grounding issue. Anyway, if you have one of these cars, 
uh, before you go out on a trip or something, make sure that everything is working good on it as far as lights. I mean, you don't want to get rear-ended. I've turned everything off. But anyway, I just thought I'd give you a little update. Just sitting here, it's getting up to 200. I don't think that's bad. It's, what is it? Probably 190. Anyway, seems to be Anyway, once again, appreciate you watching. I don't think it's the... I don't think it's the radiator cap. I, I don't know. Let me know what y'all think. Maybe you've had this problem before. Maybe that's a normal operating temperature. I don't know. But I have seen it 220, 230. And I think that might be just a hair high. So, well, I mean, I didn't keep it running that long. But anyway, I, I just think that's a little high. Hey, y'all have a great day. Once again, appreciate it. See y'all in the next video.